Hello guys, welcome to Jazz Up Tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you some cool glowing effects. And yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> okay, first what you're going to do, is you're going to open a canvas of any size. Um, I think I chose about 800 by 600, something like that. Alright, and immediately when you open it, you want to immediately do a control, a control backspace or a control alt backspace, depending on where your black is in your swatch. And yeah, like that. Or you can just do a fill, fill black, whatever. That was easier. Create a new layer above that, and you want to hit the elliptical marquee tool. And you're going to want to follow these settings as shown. The feather must be 80 px. And so we're going to move over here, and we have a fixed size. Haven't done this before, have we? Nope. Make the width and the height 350 by 250 px. Once you've done that. Click anywhere on your canvas and you'll get this. A little thing. Then go to render in clouds and that should appear. Should appear like that. Okay. After that, create a new layer. And this is where we're gonna add some color to our cloud layer. Select a blue color for the first for the foreground. Then for the background color, we're gonna select a green color. Oh yeah, a green color. Okay, once you have those done, you're going to click on the gradient tool, linear, and select our blue and green. Click OK on the screen, and move it, and then make your gradient like that. Alright, you'll get that. And once you've got that, you're going to go on, click on overlay. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that bad boy, it looks pretty awesome to me. Okay, once you have that, you can do a control D and get rid of the marquee thing in which you're going to... Yeah. Now you're going to type in your text. Any text is fine. I'm typing in this random word of glowing text, but whatever. It's your... You can do whatever you want. Um, and also, when you do this, make sure that your text is white. If it's not when you type it, it doesn't matter. You can just go back, go back and fix it. But for the following... For the, fe for the effect you're going to get after this, you'll need it to be white. Trust me. And you'll see what I mean. <clears throat> You can move your text around, put it wherever you want, doesn't matter. Yay for white text! <laughs> okay, once you have your text all white, you want to make both your text layers overlay. <clears throat> yeah. And that's the effect you should get. Alright, if you haven't gotten that effect, uh, well, go back and fix something, because obviously there's something wrong. <laughs> okay, now, after you have your text done, we're going to go to my evil little demon friend, the pen tool. I hate the pen tool with every ounce of hate there is in this whole entire universe, and I don't know why, but it hates me too. The pen tool is just like my evil little friend, arch enemy. It took me an hour to get the effect I'm about to show you with this pen tool, and I'm not going to lie. I had to cut down this whole video for you because it took me nearly an hour just to get this whole pen tool thing to work. I've done numerous tutorials with the pen tool, I've done numerous things with it, and I just cannot seem to get the hang of it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but seriously, the pen tool hates me, and I hate it just as much. But somehow, I ended up with a really weird, uh, twisty thing, and I liked it. So yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so I came out with this outcome. How I got this, I'll never know, but I love it, and it's awesome, and I'm gonna, and that's what I did. But you, on the other hand, you, the people that are watching this, can make it, make any twisty type weird glowing thingy you want. This is my glowy thingy, and yours might be different, and that's okay. <laughs> okay, once you have that little glowy, uh, swirly, swirly, swirly jig thing, I don't know what you want to call it, but whatever. Once you got that all done, we're going to do some cool stuff to it. Oh yeah, we are. Okay. So, we have that. Now we're going to uh, click on the brush, the little brushy thing at the top. You know where brush Yeah, you know what brushes are. Duh. Alright, click on your brushes, and you want to select a 3px brush with a hardness of zero. Meaning it's not a soft type brush. <laughs> okay. Then you're going to right click on your screen, 
and when you've done that, click on Stroke Path. In the drop down screen, you want to select Brush, because probably when you have it on your screen, it'll say Pencil or something. But select Brush and Stimulate Pressure. Then click on the path thingy in the layer section and delete your path, because you don't need it anymore. Alright, since your path is gone, you'll have that. A white little twisty thing. Make sure that your color is white when you do this, because when you don't, it'll come out weird looking. So make sure it's white, and you'll get that. Once you've got that done, double click on that layer with the twisty thing, and do an outer glow. And just change the outer glow settings to a blue color. Nothing else but the blue. Yeah, make it a blue color, and you're good to go. And then just click OK on the screen, because basically that's all you need. Okay, you got that? Oh yeah, we do. Okay, you can maneuver like I did. I don't know why I moved it, but whatever. And we're going to go in brushes again. And click on any size, one, 1 through 5. And just make random dots on that layer. And when you make the dots on that layer, they'll automatically go with the effects you have. So it doesn't need to do anything with that. Alright. Yeah, that's what mine looks like so far. It looks pretty chill, not going to lie. I quite enjoy that. Alright, once you've got all your random dots done, it'll give you an effect sim similar to that. Yeah. Okay. Then you want to duplicate that layer. And, uh, you're gonna probably end up, you're gonna move the little dots, like, just, you know, whatever. So now that you have those duplicated, it'll look pretty chill. And then you want to do a, got a motion blur. Select these settings. And make sure that your motion blurred layer is below the other layer, copy layer on the bottom, regular on top. You'll see why in a minute. That's why. Because you get a motion blur in the box. Change that opacity on layer 3 to 42%. Or, yeah. And it looks like that. You can't really see it anymore, but it's still cool. Yeah. Now click on the brush tool again. And I'm just doing some random, like, I'm selecting random, like, uh, star brushes that I have. Um, this is optional. I'll provide them in the description for you, but really, you don't have to do it. It's just your preference, but I'm doing it because it looks awesome. <coughs> oh, yeah, make sure that your stars you place are white. And... If you want to add the cool effect you have on your um, swirly thing, just hit, just go copy layer style, and then paste copy layer style on your on your star star one, star layer. Okay, we have layer four. We're gonna copy layer four. Yeah, and we're gonna just go on copy layer styles, and you're going to paste it on your star one. Yeah, see, now look at your stars, they got a cool effect too. Yay for stars and effects! Now on layer four, I have a copy two, I made a copy of it, and I changed the opacity to 70, 71%, whichever is your, and you get that. How awesome is that, guys? That's pretty much the whole thing. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and as always, I say, Subscribe for more, because you know I'll give you more. Oh, yeah.